Oh no. Oh yeah. It did it again. What did what again? Well, we're doing this for the second time in what? Two weeks? Yeah, something like that. <sighs> the torsion damper failed. 9510R. Great. Hey, welcome back to ZK Master Tech. Today, we've got a 9510R, and this is the second one in two weeks that the torsional damper on the, the engine and the, the U-joint decided to <laughs> grenade, you know. It's something that happens in the two to 3,000 hour range on these tractors, and this one decided to give up, and whenever that, the center metal piece separates from the rubber and the shaft gets telescope back real hard and then it's just sitting there doing this it's one of the roughest running conditions you could ever see i think um, when number five piston comes out of the side of the block it, it doesn't even vibrate as hard as whenever that um, that torsional damper fails so customer you know thinks that something majorly was wrong but you get up here and you go yep it's just the torsional damper um, but the problem is that it it telescoped back so hard that there's this little cap in the end of the shaft and then he ejected that out and chewed it up inside and so the shafts damaged you can't just get those caps and we're not even really sure um, what the condition of the shaft really is but you can't get those caps in parts so um, I went ahead and uh, or machine down ordered a new shaft so we should have it tomorrow morning so the mission today is to get the the damper in the in the shaft completely out so then tomorrow we're ready to put a new shaft and damper in it so let's get into it i got my little buddy daniel helping me out today how's it going he is just the perfect size to fit underneath there and reach the bolts to the the drive shaft so we don't have to take the lower shaft out so daniel's my special weapon i'm kind of cool like that <laughs> So me and him together, right now we're gonna get this out. But the first thing you gotta do, there's two bolts on each side that hold this top flywheel shield in. Um, you take those out, it mounts right down here. And then you can get that out. And then the damper has a bunch of bolts, you can see right here, that hold it to the flywheel. And then you have these bolts on the shaft um, that hold it to the damper so we got to get that all out and then on the other side there's a bunch of electrical and stuff that we're going to peel off and get out of the way and then we'll lift the shaft and damper up at the same time with the ratchet strap and try to get it out that hole so we're going to work on getting all those bolts out and this tool right here this 90 degree impact does a really good job of getting those bolts out Fantastic job. Better than a regular old ratchet. Yeah. Can we get it out? There we go. You also got to get the uh, coolant lines too, right above everything. We have just enough. Yeah. Space. Yeah, those little coolant lines there. We'll get that bolt taken out of that clamp. But now you can see those bolts. Uh oh. Not getting those, are is it? So I also got a crank turner installed there so we can turn the engine over to get all the bolts out. Put a bigger battery in it and it got one more out, but we're having to use a ratchet to try to break these free and then we'll zip them out. All right, so Daniel's got the electrical peeled off from over there. I'll show you that later. But I got we got all the bolts out of the, the flywheel here. Now we gotta try to get all those bolts out there and i'm gonna try the new gen 2 milwaukee stubby um, to get those bolts out normally i'd have to get the big uh, m18 mid torque in there to pull those out but uh we're gonna see what this thing can do look at that here i can get it didn't even care dude the regular stubby would not do that. No, 
Should we prove? Should we prove it? Put the put the normal stubby on that. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Is that this one right here? The proof is in the pudding. Yeah, put that socket on that one. Same battery and everything. Same battery. Oh, it proved us wrong. It did do it. It did do it, but not as easy though. I got it. Huh. Man, the Gen 1 stubby is still good. Still good gun. But it, it, it wasn't near as easy. Not near as easy, no. I'm surprised it did it at all, to be honest with you. Those bolts, these bolts have Loctite on them. Yeah, red Loctite especially. Yeah. When you get that thing a couple twists and get the bottom ones out. Okay. Hopefully it'll move. We're going to turn the flywheel here. So both guns, you know, in a 3 8 12 volt tool, that's still pretty impressive. Especially when you're dealing with bolts that size with Loctite on them pretty good i'm glad the shaft's turning did you switch back to the gen 2 i did not you should i want to feel the power i haven't used it that much to be honest with you if you if i get it over there you're out of those, you're out of those lines and then i can take the bolt teamwork makes the dream work oh yeah it definitely zips them out way faster it doesn't even try. Give me a turn a little bit. Yeah, Hold on. Metal checker 9000 for the rescue. Got it. <clears throat> that was a heck of a reach, Daniel. I'm giving you a gold star for the day. You are the special weapon for torsional dampers. That is for sure. Special weapon. It's not a good hole for a Sasquatch. Perfect hole for a hobbit. Yeah. Gotta be able to get that one now. you can get it. Oh yeah. Got it. I'd like to. I'd like to shove that metal centerpiece back into the damper. That's what I was thinking earlier. Yeah. If we could. I could probably get that into lift if you want to try to do that. No, we need to get the strap. We need to get a ratchet strap around it to pick it up, probably. Unless you can... Because I can't really... I can't really reach it. Yeah. Yeah, if only this thing was up some more. Nicer. Well, that shaft... I think if we lift up on just the shaft, we might be able to get that one piece back into it. And then pick it up and mm. out. All right, I'm trying to pry that up and out of the hole, but it's stuck on that stupid shaft. Oh, oh, oh. yeah, hey, you know that uh, spline spot? Yeah, oh. that's what pushed it out. That's helping us, actually. That's good. Able to telescope out further in. Sweet. Yeah, dude. Oh, man, look at all that. Duh. Well, uh, you need to tighten that strap a little bit or that shaft's going to fall down and possibly bust something on the axle. So you can see that spline shaft, you're not supposed to be able to see that. That's that cap that popped out of there. Yeah. And that's helping us because it telescopes back a little farther. <laughs> I don't know if you can... Uh oh. Catching, aren't you? Uh oh. Uh, you got it turned back. I want to pull that coolant line out of the way? boy. Oh, this is fun. Oh, she's wedged. I wonder if it'll come out my way. 
Maybe. I got this thing hoisted up over here. And it still catches on the metal right there. Yeah. Um, Is that as far as over as it can go? Yeah, you're bumped up against some hydraulic lines there. <sighs> Dang it. That's as far up as it's going to go right there. I mean, I got it pried. That's, that's it. I just don't think it's ever going to clear that metal lip. That steel piece that came out that's stuck on that shaft is the whole freaking problem. All right, so no matter what we do, we can't get that damper to clear because that center portion of it stuck on the shaft is keeping it from coming up and out. Normally, you'd raise those two up together this way and then you could pull the damper out, but with that cup stuck in there and we can't get it to go back in the damper, we're gonna see if we can hook the, uh, the crane to it and hook a chain around that damper and force it out, you know, bend the steel on that cup to try to get it up and out. I got 1,800 pounds on it. Well, I think before anything, we're creeping that metal into like an oval position. Well, the way I got my crane position, I can't, I can't put that much lifting force like that. Not gonna be the best idea to get over there in that wet dirt. I know. I can't get over there. Dang it. So I finally got that damper cut all the way through on both sides. Let's see what happens. Can you get that bottom piece out? Voila. Like a glove. There. Yeah. That works like gravy. That's the only way that was coming out. Okay, well, the crane worked well to hold that thing up where I could cut it in half in two different spots and then peel the metal halves out and then all that was left was rubber. But that was the only way this thing was coming out because of this stupid thing. So this is supposed to be down inside there. You see it separated. She's done for. So now all we got left is to get the, the shaft out. So there's a the shaft. So that torsional dampener uh, connects the engine to the transmission. So you got a rubber coupler to a drive shaft and then there's a U-joint right on the yoke of the input shaft of the transmission. So now we gotta go in and take those U-joint bolts out. Now we gotta go in here, there's the shaft, and we gotta disconnect the U-joint right there, and it's got half inch 12 point bolts. So I have a special 12 point half inch swivel socket that'll reach right on there. So the last one I did, that U-joint was actually broken and that shaft was spinning in that little cup right there. And it wasn't a good time getting that out. All right, so I gotta kind of guide Daniel in. You gotta go way in. Just get the gun in there. There you go. Oh. Right there, hit it. What? Here, take that. 
extension out. I can't believe that didn't just zip it out. That's the Gen 2 high torque. Just too much extension with with a swivel takes a lot of torque away. Especially a split split extension. If it was one extension, it might be a little bit better. That's what I mean. Get rid of the one. We'll see what happens. Right back. Whoa. Oh. I'm trying to. Right there. On? Yep. Yep, that was the magic ticket. I'll just leave it there for now. Down. Right this yeah, right there. Yep. Boy, that one extension just made a huge difference, Hell didn't yeah, it? Alright. Let me get the the metal checker 9000. Just pull that out. One. Two. And go in. Right there. Yep. And right there. We win. Do your victory dance. <laughs> do the Macarena. I definitely don't do the Macarena on the victory. <laughs> Why not? Well, kind of shows my age that I know what you're talking about. <laughs> hey, Macarena. I'm surprised you know what the Macarena is. Huh? I'm surprised you know what the Macarena is. Hey, I'm not that young. I heard it pop. I think you got that one. I'll be able to shake it out like last time. Oh yeah. You get one popped and then you give her the shaky shake. Works every time. slide out of this coupler. I might just take this off. Yeah. Was it? I'm stuck on some. I'm stuck on something. You gotta pick up that back end. Somehow. It's stuck. Okay. Smashed my pinky. Oh no. It's bleeding. Bleeding. It's bleeding. You can do it. Battle wound. Alright. Fixed. Probably should have been wearing gloves. I know. I don't want to hear it. Anyway, so that's the shaft right here. So this is the piece the farmer gave me right as soon as we showed up and I go, uh-oh, that's not good. Cause I knew that cap went right here. And guess what? You can't get that cap. Splines are all full of rubber and nasty stuff. So we got a new shaft coming tomorrow morning. So first thing in the morning, we're gonna come back. We'll put dowels. Um, we took some old bolts and we cut them off and we got dowels that will fit onto the transmission yoke where we can slip that u-joint on and then put two bolts in pull the dowels out put two more bolts in hammer it all down then we can lift the shaft up get the damper slid in slide it into the shaft and then set it in there get the uh the bolts lined up here and the bolts lined up here slam it all together and uh should take us i don't know probably a few hours to get that two, done maybe two maybe three hours so we'll be back in the morning and we're back we 
we got a new drive shaft in. This looks a little soupier than it was yesterday. Time to go in full drive. All right, full send, Daniel? Yep. This is too easy. I can definitely tell it's soupier than it was yesterday. There's the new beautiful shaft. Even came with a new U-joint. Isn't that convenient? So we'll have to put that on. See, there's that cap. So, new shaft. Daniel's already got the hood in service position. Um, now we're going to go underneath and install those dowels I was talking about into the transmission yoke. And then we're going to put that shaft in there. I looked at the shipping weight on this shaft, and it's 90 pounds. You think you can curl that with one arm, Daniel? 90 pounds? Um, <laughs> uh, you know, one arm. Uh. Curl. <laughs> Two hands, yeah. One hand curl 90. What about you? I don't know. We'll see. I want to hurt myself right out of the gate. Come on now. Oh my goodness. It's hard to balance it. <laughs> yeah, it is. I can't do it. Well, you tried. Not this morning. Lord. <laughs> it almost feels heavier than 90 pounds. I mean, 90 pounds with two pounds, no problem. It's yeah. just hard to balance it. Yeah. It makes you want to get your wrist cocked over like this to balance it, and then you can't really lift it well. No. That's a heavy sucker. Yeah. Okay. Get position here. Right. Like a big baby. Whew. She's got the half, Daniel. Sure you know what's the problem? What? This thing is so stiff it doesn't telescope very good. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> I can't even telescope it. Come on, Russell, man. It'll freaking nature. Oh, dude. Is it just cold? I don't know. Should we try to break that free or something? Try to get that to move? Holy crap, dude. Yeah. I don't know if we want to deal with that in the hole. Well,. If we get it out too far, we can't push it back in once we need to go back in for the... Oh, well, I just wanted to move something. I mean, it's... I, I don't know how far in it, if it's in all the way or not. Well, that's all the way in. But try to... when, it, when this was broken, this would go all the way back. Yeah. The end part was going out. Now this is... Can you even pull that out? I ain't braced good enough. Okay, now I am. Oh, there we go. So it will go. Here, let me smash it down. Ooh. Yep. It's just stiff. I don't know if the other one has a hole in the cap or not, but that one is there to push air in and out. Yeah. Alrighty then. <laughs> I want to get a strap on that shaft to help hold it up. Coming down. 
Can you pick up on that shaft at all? Before I can get a better. Why? Hold on. We win. I see the game. Right there? Yeah. Oh, it's, oh, it started kind of on that one. Okay. Now it needs to rotate clockwise some more. Oh, straighten that top cap. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. Look at that. That's the way the cookie crumbles. I like it. I'm just keeping it there so it doesn't decide to change its mind. Oh, you gotta go way up. Up, up, up. Right to the left. Up just a little bit. Right there, it's close. Down, down, right there. Oh, is that starting, Daniel? Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Up just yeah, there it is. I remember. I could feel it. Man, where would we be without those dowels? Um, <laughs> crying our eyes out on the truck. That would be extremely difficult to do without those dowels there. Yeah, I think we'd be taking a lot of breaks just to punch the air. <laughs> up no, up and to the right. Yeah, up, straight up, straight to the right, just a little bit. You're right there. Up, up, right, you're right there, yeah. See, this is where Daniel comes in handy. He's small enough where we don't have to take the lower drive shaft off the axle to get up in there. I'm about three sizes too big for the whole year in. You, you were like born to work underneath tractors. You think so? That's what you were made for. Okay, we got all the bolts in. And I'm gonna guide him with a pro Oh, you're, you're on it, hold on. There you go, just, yeah, just leave it like that for now. Up, back, up, right, right there, yeah. Sweet. Pushing shaft over. I can't see any of this. I, I can. It's actually better the, the way we got it clocked now. I can see them better. I like it like this better. Oh, oh. Uh, these ones. Oh, well, I want to make sure it gets seated correctly. That feels... Why does that feel weak? Oh, no, the mode got pushed. Oh, see? They need to have that special mode on the Gen 2 high torques like the new stubby's got. Because that was pain in the butt. Okay. Fire in the hole. Okay. Yep. Whoa. Hit it again. Forward press. Ah. Okay, that's good enough. To the right. Okay. That's good enough. It's in. Lord. Yeah. Teamwork. All right, now I'm going to show you how it's supposed to be done. Daniel's going to crawl underneath there. He, here, Daniel, I'll give you a bolt. He's going to put a bolt on that flywheel at 6 o'clock. All right, we got to let that shaft back down and turn it with some pliers to get it clocked right because the way that that u-joint was it wouldn't allow it to flex and make it go this way so i think we might have gotten it
Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, look at all the room. All right, hold on. I can hold this. You can? Yeah. We're going to have to get that. I'm going to have to loosen that strap and try to poke it. Poke it in at the same time. Hopefully. Oh baby. Oh on that bolt. Just barely. Okay. So got it restrapped or it'd pick it up towards the center. We're trying to get the bolts in. Uh oh, sorry. It needs to go. I don't think it's in the bottom. Well, it's just being hoisted up right now. No, I think it's hitting on that bolt. It's hammer time? Yeah. Hammer it. Hammer it. Yeah, you know, give her, give her a three, four second blast, you know. Turny. There we get the big multis in. Turn. Keep going. Well, right there. Flywheel shield. I'm a, let's put the bolts in. It's designed to be able to hook in there. Got this. Is the... All right, flywheel shield is in. Get the electrical back together, but look at these connections, they're icky. The electrical is all back together. We are done. Now we just need to get the hood back down and uh, we'll fire this baby up and it ought to run smooth as butter all right it's all done so this is a you know a typical job we'll have to do i don't know two three times a year during the tillage season on these tractors they get about two three thousand hours and that that damper will fail but uh yeah so at least you got to see the process it's not fun to do out here in the corn stalks but it can be done Fire this thing up. Voila! Beautiful. A thing of beauty. Oh, well, it moves. So, I don't want to run it in the field right now because uh, it's still a little tacky out here. And uh, I think we'd actually plug up the rolling baskets. So, I don't really want to have to dig those out today, but it ought to be good. Feel smooth, Daniel? Dude, like it's brand new. Like it's brand new. 2,701 hours when she decided to <laughs> grenade. Mm -hmm. So typical. Yeah. You know, it's about that about that amount of hours she they decide to go and there's nothing you can do about it. And the customer usually calls and said he feels the worst vibration he's ever felt in his life yeah. in the tractor. Like usually you'll start it for like two seconds and you're turning the key off because it's so violent. Yeah. It just sh shakes everything. So 
All right. Well, it's time to go home and go see some football because the Solvin Redskins are 10 and 0 and go into the second round of the playoffs. So I'm going to drive two hours south to go watch them play. Yeah, I'm not so. going to make it to the game in time. Quincy is three hours away. Yeah. By the yeah. time we get there, it's, the game's going to be halfway yeah. over. See, he likes Arthur. He's from Arthur, and I like yeah. Sullivan. And we're kind of rivals, and so, we were un both undefeated, 8 0, and played each other, and Sullivan won. You guys are 2A, right? 2A, or 3A. 3A now? Or okay. 3A. And say, Arthur's 2A. Yeah. I was going to say, if, if there was any chance of you guys would be in 2A, in, uh, my mom was saying that if, we, if you guys just kept winning every single game, eventually we both get to the championship and we would just battle <laughs> that'd be a hell of a game right there championship yeah. game already packed but it's like this is the game yeah i don't know we'll see if we can go 11 and 0 today so go redskins <laughs> all right mission successful i'm gonna call a customer and let him know his tractor's done he ought to be happy and uh yeah thanks for watching like this video, subscribe to the channel, comment below, let me know how I'm doing. Until next time, keep that green iron moving.